Okay, this is going to be a hard drive replacement for a MacBook Pro model A1226. First step is to flip it over, pull out the battery, and you do that by pushing these two, and it should pop up and pull it right out. Okay, next step is to take out these screws here. There's three screws. I've already done that. They're identical. And here's what they look like. They got f fat heads on them. So you pull those screws out, take this shield off, and just pull it towards you. <clears throat> There's your RAM chips. Next step is to take out these two torque screws. I think they're 10 millimeter torque screws. I've got a T6 here. That's a Torx T6, and it looks like that fits perfectly. Okay, so that worked good. Those came right out. Kind of long. Okay, next step um, is to take out all the screws around. So there's some up here. One, two, three, four. And I already took those out. And then there's a bunch on the sides here. One, two, looks like four over here I took off. All the ones on the side are the same size. And all the ones on the top here are the same size. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. And then looks like there's two in the back. One there, and one there. And then if you flip the laptop up like that, you'll see two screws there. I already took them out. There's one there. And one there. Now flip it over, open it up, and this part you need to be very careful with because the ribbon is still attached in the back. So you'll need to lift it up here. As you can see, when you lift up underneath, it's still attached there. Okay, and if you keep lifting, which I just did after I turned the camera off, if you keep lifting, this will eventually snap off. But again, be careful because the ribbon is still attached in there. And on the left side, you can see the hard drives right there. Give you a little shot of the outside. Okay, so your hard drives are right there. Okay, so you've got those same Torx screws, T6, right here. One here, and then one right underneath these wires here. You have to put, peel them back a bit and just unscrew those. I've already done that. So they should come loose. Okay, and once you get this out, <coughs> You'll have to take these ribbons off, or these um, connectors off, of the ribbon. Okay, so then those separate there, and this thing is taped to the hard drive here. Pull up a, on the corner there. It should come right out. There you have it.